students of students of class eight, students of class eight. Today, I am going to teach you on the following points. Points are mentioned here. Number one, T F and postal people. Second point, intolerable act. Third point, Philadelphia Congress 1774. And fourth point, declaration of war. These are the four points according to which I am going to teach you. The first point, the first one, T Act and Austin T Act. What is T Act? The British government, you know, had established 13 colonies in North America. And hence, they started imposing various types of taxes on the colonists. T Tax or T Act was one of them. Now this one, T Act and Boston Tea Party. Whenever the T Act was passed, it was decided that only the East India Company, British East India, only the British East India Company will have an opportunity to trade monopoly, to, uh, to have an opportunity to make monopoly trade over the 13 colonies of America. And in that case, East India Company who trade with American colonists without paying any taxes, but the American colonists, they would have to pay huge amount of taxes on different goods. He was one of them. That's why the anger, they raised hue and cry against that system, against this discrimination. And Boston Tea Party, what is Boston Tea Party? Now I am going to teach you. Boston Tea Party. In 16 December, six, uh, in 16 December 1773, a group of colonists raided one ship of British East India Company, uh, full of, you know, full of uh, tea containers. But during midnight, they raided the ship and uh, one by one, all the containers they threw into the sea in order to protest against the system introduced by the British, by the, uh, British government in favor of British East India Company. So this is known as that incident was taken place in Boston, Boston Harbor. That's why this in famous incident is known as Boston Tea Party. So this is Boston Tea Party. And now intolerable act. As soon as the Boston Tea Party incident was taken place there at Boston Harbor, the British government immediately passed an act in order to teach the American colonists a good lesson. So the act which was passed in the British Parliament, that act was known as intolerable act. Under the terms of the Intolerable Act, it was decided that the, uh, until, until the American colonists would pay the amount of money they, they duly damaged to the British East India Company, the Boston, team, the Boston Harbor would be remain closed. So, they declared that system and as soon and at the same time the Boston Harbor was fully closed. It was nothing but a, a protest against it was nothing but a protest against the Americans. The Americans uh, directly started antagonism and the incident which was taken place there resulted in an antagonism between the colonists and the British Parliament. Now, next point, Philadelphia Congress, Philadelphia Congress, Philadelphia is a historical place of America. Many distinguished people, educated persons live there. Philadelphia was a place where, you know, social reformers also were there who had been encouraging from the very beginning uh, uh, to the American colonists against the British government. 
they choose that historical place to be a center of their rebellion, a center of political discussions and political issues. That's why the place, all the representatives from the colonists, colonies assembled at Philadelphia in the year 1774 and prepared a petition that demanded the withdrawal of all taxes imposed on the Americans and uh, uh, which was imposed uh, on the Americans uh, from, uh, in, uh, from 1774 onwards. 1770, sorry, 1774 onwards. So, this representative ultimately appealed to the King of England. They appealed to King George III of England uh, to withdraw, to withdraw all taxes imposed on the Americans. King George III naturally grew offended against the American colonists because they not only started education against the British government but also damaged large quantities of uh, tea containers by throwing it into the sea. That's why with great anger they, he, I mean George III, they refused their demand and declared war against the American colonies. So this is the teaching of today, my dear student. If you have any confusion, any doubt, you can send your doubts to your comment box to comment box. I shall try to answer you.